In the Kate Steinle murder trial, the defense began presenting its case today. KPI X Files Phil Mateer tells us the testimony was all about the gun. Both the undocumented immigrant Jose Inez Garcia Zarate and the gun that killed Kate Steinle took center stage today, with the main question being, was the shooting of Kate Steinle as she walked along a pier in San Francisco with her father a deliberate act or an accident? The DA says it was deliberate. We had civilian witnesses, law enforcement uh, officers, and um, other forensic experts. Today, it was the defense's turn, bringing in James Norris, the former head of San Francisco's police lab, who testified that the stolen Sig Sauer pistol was fully loaded, had no safety, and that Steinle was hit by a ricocheted bullet. We've been able to establish through expert testimony physical characteristics of an accident. The expert, however, also testified that even without a safety, it would be unlikely that the gun would have gone off even if dropped, and that the trigger had to be pulled, either on purpose or by accident. Essentially, uh, the expert said that the gun would not spontaneously go off and that the trigger would have had to have been pulled. The defense counters that even if Zarate accidentally pulled the trigger when he picked up what he thought was a bundle of clothing lying at his feet, he had no intention of harming anyone. It ricocheted off the ground, traveled at about a two-degree angle to hit uh, Ms. Steinle. The question is whether or not the defendant intended to pull the trigger on that firearm. And when it's all said and done, if the jury believes the evidence shows that, they'll find him guilty of murder. The next phase of the trial is likely to center on how the gun wound up on the pier. Did Zarate bring it in his coat, or did he find it there? In either way, the big issue is going to be, once again, intent. In San Francisco, Phil Mateer, KPIX 5.